everybody. We're back with the author of The Devil You Know, Charles Blow. I know that you grew up in the South and then moved and worked in New York for uh, 25, 26 years, 26 something? Years, 26 yes. years. And now you're back in the South. What has that meant to you, to your life, and to, well, just to the experience of living for you to be back in the South? Uh, I grew up in one of those majority black cities, right? And so coming back to a place like Atlanta, I understand it. It feels very much like home. And it feels um, it, where prosper black prosperity is not an anomaly. It, it, where it doesn't feel like the police are hunting you. Where it feels like the government is going to be responsive to you. That's an amazing feeling. When I tell people, talk to people about moving back, they give me a whole litany of reasons why they might not want to do it. And I say, I understand those, and I have another list of why you should do it. But what I'm telling them is, I'm not suggesting that you're going to move back into a utopia. If black majorities produce utopias, every white person in America would be prospering right now because for the last 90 years, every state except Hawaii has been a majority white state. But they are not. Right now, seven states have a 90-plus percent white population. Surely all those white people are prospering. No, they are not. Right. No matter what, if you get a black majority, you're still going to have poverty and food insecurity and income inequality. The, but in the aggregate, the people who don't have to live under white supremacy are going to do better than those who do. I just want to have the privilege of having regular white people problems. Well, Charles, thank you so much for being here. Thank the, you. I appreciate it so much. The book is The Devil You Know. It's available now. Charles Blow, everybody. We'll be right back.